Hello and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Last week I posted this video, showing you that you don't need to spend tons of money on photo shoots to get really good looking images of your products. Huh? No, I'm not saying that you should take photos with your mobile phone. What I am saying is you can create pretty decent looking renders, so computer generated, images of your products without spending tons of money on a photo shoot. Caveat to that, if you do want it to look super good, like really awesome and photorealistic, then yes, you'll need to hire an agency like ourselves or any of the freelancers or companies out there that do photorealistic 3D renders. However, if you have a basic concept, if you have a brand design and you want to see what it looks like on packaging to give you an idea, you can create some pretty decent looking images very quickly using a program called Adobe Dimension. Now, most of the tutorials on this piece of software are around about 20 minutes to half an hour. I'm gonna try and condense it down into five minutes. Ready? Let's go. So before we dive in, you will need to download an application from adobe.com called Adobe Dimension. Now there is a 30 day free trial, and after that there are various different uh, pricing plans that you can pick to suit your needs. But you can have a go with the 30 day free trial. So if you haven't downloaded it already, pause this video, then download it. I'll assume you've downloaded it and you're ready to go. Now, once you load it up, you'll be presented with a blank screen, a blank canvas, and you'll have on the left-hand side of the screen a bunch of options. In the top left-hand corner, just uh, below the Design tab, you have something called Starter Assets. Now, these are things, basic things like basic products, shapes and sizes, clothing, all sorts of fun stuff. There's huge libraries that you can access online and download. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but there's plenty to get started with. So first things first, I'm gonna use a background image. I've already downloaded one of a coffee cup on a table. So I'm gonna drop the coffee cup onto the canvas. Now we need to find a product. So I'm gonna head back to the starter assets and this coffee bag looks cool. I like the look of that. So I'm gonna pick this coffee bag and I'm gonna place it just here on this little square and you go, oh, it's too big. No problem at all. We've got on the right hand side property settings. So if we hop on over to the property settings, we can adjust them by this little slider called size and we can bring it down to a size that's a bit more usable. I think that looks about right. Uh, now we need to augment it, so we need to twist the object around to facing the front of the camera. So we click this little circular select and rotate tool and we drag it around to something that looks a bit more natural. Um, and I'm gonna give it a slight angle because I think that'll look cooler. Cool, I think that looks good. So we're gonna move it over just a touch. We select the move tool here to move it and we pop it about. Yeah, I think that looks good, that looks cool. Now don't worry, it doesn't look quite right in terms of the texture and stuff like that. That's also to do with the lighting that we haven't set yet, and it's also to do with the fact that it's not been rendered. So what you're looking at now is a very low resolution or low polygon render. So it doesn't look as slick or as cool because that takes too much processing power to make it look great when you're editing it. So once you've finished editing it, you then press render and then it will make it look really lovely. If you hop on over to the left panel again where you've got starter assets, you click the materials button and you've got all these cool little materials. Now I quite like the sheen of a glossy paper. So we can drag that onto our product here. I'm gonna hop on over to the right side panel where I have scene and environment. I'm gonna click environment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch up the intensity so it brightens up the lighting on the product. And that's looking really cool. I like the look of that. Um, then we're gonna bring up the reflections a little bit. Yeah, that looks cool. Now, you wanna start adding artwork. So, now we hop on over to images and we can see there's some cool little patterns on here. I'm gonna pick this polka dots pattern because I think it looks really cool. And we simply drag that on there and drop it on there. Then it's gonna have it default setting as a decal. You wanna change that on the right hand side in the properties to fill. So, ooh, that's nice, I like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the repeat pattern. So I want the dots to be a bit smaller. So I'm gonna use this slider and just increase the dots till I get a look that I like. Yeah, I think that's good, that looks cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I wanna start adding my brand design elements. Now I've got some pre-made things here. I've got this cool illustration of this dude drinking coffee. I think he looks really cool. So I'm gonna drag him on there. I'm gonna again scale it down. Then I'm gonna add the logo onto the bottom of that. And we'll slide it around here. Let's take the scale down a little bit so it fits nicely. Cool. Now I'm gonna add a little tag of organic certified. We'll 
jump the scale down there, and then we've got a little rotation handle here. We'll just slide that over a little bit so it's nice and straight, and we'll pop it in the right corner there. Nice, that looks really cool. You can of course add other elements here. You could add other text. You could of course put flavor variants on, all sorts of fun stuff like that. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So now what we do is we click in the top left hand corner. We've got a render tab. We press the render button and then it gives us a couple of settings. Now, and I'm, I'm not gonna choose PSD because I wanna use this image straight away. I'm gonna choose PNG. Then when we're done, I press render. Depending on the complexity of your model and your computer processing power, it could take anything from a couple of seconds to an hour. So be mindful of that when you embark on this project. So now it's rendered and we have the image. There we go, I think it looks really cool. Now all in, that took me about five minutes to create and I have something that looks pretty decent. Of course, you can try as many different iterations as you like and it's pretty quick and easy. So I hope you found this workshop useful and you enjoyed trying out Adobe Dimension. Let me know in the comments if you've had a go and what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. As always, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and make sure you click the bell notification so you get spammed every time I launch a video. I'll see you next week.